Hi, my name is Dick Abear, Technical Consultant for AquaPro Systems. I'm here to demonstrate our amazing new product line and how to show you how simple it is to install and maintain. Let's talk about the new AquaPro Apex VS1 pump. As you can see by the knobs, it's virtually toolless. By removing the knobs, you can take the two pieces apart, making it much easier to work on the unit. Inside, you'll find it equipped with a special made Viton seal and a floating wear ring. The motor is a totally enclosed fan cooled motor with rare earth magnets. The backside comes equipped with three preset speeds and preset RPMs. The unit sets high up off the ground. We have an oversized pump housing for better hydraulics and oversized drain plugs. Let's talk about the installation process. Prior to installing your Apex VS1 pump, one, make sure you refer to your owner's manual, and two, follow any and all local electric codes. First installation is going to be featuring a mechanical time clock. Okay, let's go ahead and get it wired. First thing you want to do is remove the three screws from the top side. Set the top side over where it's out of our way. Take our three wire connection. Slide our three wires through. You'll notice inside, based on your owner's manual, there is an orange, a white, and a green connection, which is how we'll wire the motor. That's how easy it is to wire this motor into a mechanical time clock. Put the top back on, put your three Phillips head screws in, we've wired our Apex VS pump. Let's hook up our Apex VS1 pump using a digital time clock. Let's get this wired. First step, remove the three screws, set it off to the side. We're going to take our four wires, which is what's needed, when you're hooking up to a two-speed or a multiple-speed time clock. You'll run your wires through. And again, please refer to the owner's manual, which will tell you which wire is connected to which part of the actual motor part of the Apex VS pump. Put your top back on and replace your three screws. The Apex VS1 pump will also connect to most types of automation. You will notice the gray cable, which is connected to our motor, comes into our system and we have three additional relays. These three additional relays allow us to change the speeds on the motor by your automation system. You have your high voltage relay, which is how you actually energize the pump. Okay, let's run in our high voltage wires. Again, loosely remove the top. We will run our three wires in. This time, connecting to our black, white, and green. Replace the top, and wiring is complete. All right, let's get this pump installed. First thing we're going to do in this application, we're going to use a threaded union. Please note, and this is also in the owner's manual, we're using Teflon tape. Do not use pipe dope on your threads when installing an Apex VS1 pump. We will hand tighten our union into place and then glue it onto our manifold. Okay, let's line our pump up with our plumbing. What we like to do prior to, to gluing is to clean our pipes. In this application, we're going to use clear cleaner. Now let's glue it in place. And let's pull the two pieces together. 
That's how easy it is to glue and put into place our Apex VS1 pump. And the last part of installing our pump is connecting our bond wire. You will notice the bond wire is located at the very back of our motor. By loosening up the bond lug, the wire goes in, wire tightened up, and we are now properly bonded.